Hello everybody, welcome to a special edition of Solo TV 84 and I'm your host Solomon Jones and before I begin let me be clear I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a guru, I'm just a, a regular guy who is still learning about cryptocurrencies and bitcoins etc. So anything that I put out is infotainment and I highly recommend that you do your own research. Now for many of you who've been watching my channel what I'm about to talk about is nothing new, but this is for the, the new person watching my channel or the person who's curious. Now, some of you may have heard me use the word cryptocurrency. What is cryptocurrency? What am I talking about? What does it mean? Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that is created through the use of encryption software. This approach is a solution to security and control issues that prevented a purely digital currency from being successfully developed in the past. So basically, cryptocurrency, to put it in very simple terms, is digital money, it's online money, internet money, so to speak. So what is the hoopla with cryptocurrency, with Bitcoin? Why is it so popular? Why am I talking about it? Well, while I'm not a teacher or can explain it in full detail, I'm going to let this little clip do the job for me. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital currency. Bitcoins are digital coins you can send through the internet. Compared to other alternatives, Bitcoins have a number of advantages. Bitcoins are transferred directly from person to person via the net, without going through a bank or clearinghouse. This means that the fees are much lower. You can use them in every country. Your account cannot be frozen and there are no prerequisites or arbitrary limits. Let's look at how it works. Several currency exchanges exist where you can buy and sell bitcoins for dollars, euros, and more. Your bitcoins are kept in your digital wallet on your computer or mobile device. Sending bitcoins is as simple as sending an email. And you can purchase anything with bitcoin. The bitcoin network is secured by individuals called miners. Miners are rewarded newly generated bitcoins for verifying transactions. After transactions are verified, they are recorded in a transparent public ledger. Bitcoin opens up a whole new platform for innovation. The software is completely open source and anyone can review the code. Bitcoin is changing finance the same way the web changed publishing. When everyone has access to a global market, great ideas flourish. Bitcoins are a great way for businesses to minimize transaction fees. It doesn't cost anything to start accepting them, and it's easy to set up. There are no chargebacks, and you'll get additional business from the Bitcoin economy. For more information about Bitcoin, visit WeUseCoins.com. Okay, so that video did a great job talking about it. And here's the great thing. It's not just Bitcoin that is a cryptocurrency. Like the video mentioned, there are thousands of others. And... Cryptocurrency is unique because it is backed up by blockchain. What is blockchain? Well, um, Ian Bellina describes blockchain as a ledger that keeps records of digital transactions. Instead of having a central administrator like a bank or the government, blockchain organizes the da data in batches called blocks. These data batches use cryptographic validation to link themselves together in other words, each block identifies and references the previous block by a hash value, forming an unbroken chain. Blockchain solves two of the most challenging problems of digital transaction, controlling the information and avoiding duplication, aka tampering. When a purchase is carried out, the ledger records it and sends it out to the entire network, computers all over the world, then compete to confirm the operation by solving complex math equation. The first to figure out the answer and validate the blocks receives a reward in bitcoins. The process is called mining. Okay, so you have miners who, you know, basically keep the cryptocurrencies honest and also protect the cryptocurrencies. And the blockchain ensures that there's no tampering. You know, this is very, very unique where with the banks, you never really know what's going on, okay? Now, cryptocurrency, all the hoopla that you've heard about it, why is it, is it the future? Because right now, 
you know, cryptocurrency is really still brand new. Uh, I mean, it's a technology that is less than 10 years old. Is cryptocurrency the future? And a lot of people think so. Because digital currency can be used around the world in a, in a faster way, as you saw in the video. Um, it's, it cuts out the middleman. And it's very lucrative and attractive. And even other businesses, such as Apple, Microsoft, and even banks now, are trying to get in on cryptocurrency. And so it, it allows um, you know, transactions to process faster. Um, lower fees and who doesn't want to pay lower fees and as the technology will evolve which it certainly will it's only going to become better it's only going to be it's only going to improve more than it, it is now and so this is what cryptocurrency is i know this is a brief video but i wanted to keep it short and um you know we're going to keep this going the more I learn about this, the more I will post, of course. But I want people to understand that this is the future. And if you uh, are not doing your research, if you've heard about Bitcoin or altcoins, what are you waiting for? This is Microsoft before Microsoft. This is Apple before Apple. This is Coca-Cola and Pepsi. If you know about Bitcoins and altcoins and you're not investing in it, you, sir, are an idiot. <laughs> I have no other way to put it. Invest your money in it. Um, you don't have to put in thousands of dollars in it. You know, it, it, you just put in as much as you can and really, you know, learn about it. I mean, I challenge you and I implore you to learn about it and, you know, do it yourself. Um, judge it for yourself. Anyway, this is Solomon Jones with a quick, quick, quick video. I appreciate you and I'm out. Peace. Dumb the monk, monk, monk.